It wouldn't be surprising to know that there is little known about the continent of Africa. Even though it has 54 countries with over 1 billion citizens, more than 2,000 recognized languages, the oldest university and trillions of dollars worth of natural resources. But when you ask the average person outside Africa what they know about a continent, that's when most of them express that they know little to nothing about it. Why is that? And those who have some knowledge about it only know that Africa is a place with no history or something within the line. But is that the case? This has gotten so bad that some Africans know little about the land they live on, and this has created tons of problems. You might agree with me that this has to do with decades of painting Africa as this backwater continent that's only known for its poverty and suffering. There isn't enough positive images about Africa out there, and this has created a generation of Africans suffering from inferiority complex. Let me explain. In my observation, it has to do with Africans forgetting who they are. In other words, we've lost our identity and in short, we don't learn our history. So how does knowing our history come into play? Studies show that knowing your history helps you better understand the complexities of our world and it enables us to cope with the problems and possibilities of the present and future. It also gives us a sense of identity. The past shaped our present and so will our present shape our future. You get where I'm going with this, but here is the problem. The only history taught in our school about Africa starts from slavery, colonization, then to independence. So tell me, if you grew up with such education, isn't there a chance that you might feel inferior? African history has been left in the dirt for decades, even centuries, to paint the picture that Africans didn't contribute anything to humanity. So the most notable kingdom Africans know about is ancient Egypt. But do you know that there are hundreds of African kingdoms waiting to be discovered? Of course, ancient Egypt is an African kingdom. You can argue all you want, but looking at Africa through the lens of ancient Egypt is not being fair to the other kingdoms spread out on the continent. This begs the question, why do we need to learn our history? Let me clarify something here. African history didn't start with slavery. We had kingdoms that had rulers, systems of commons, culture, art and scientific advances way before any other continent did. Africans started trading with China and Arabia before Europe and Africans independently utilized iron hundreds of years before it was discovered in other parts of the world. In my recent video, there were some comments that Africa didn't have any written language. So let me point this out. The oldest written language date back to 5000 BC for a manuscript called Proto-Saharan, which was found by the Cargo Oasis in what is now Sudan. And there are countless written languages spread out all over Africa, which date back several hundred years before any written language in Europe. With that said, African history is pretty extensive and so much more than just Egypt. Africans achieved way more greatness in its long history, but sadly, only a few people are aware of these achievements. So these are some of the things Africans achieved. To start it off, let's talk about astronomy. Many African societies discovered astronomy which we still rely on to this day and some were considered too advanced that researchers are still scratching their heads trying to understand it. Such as the Adam Calendar in South Africa, which is called African Stonehenge, but it predates England's Stonehenge by several thousand years. It was used as a calendar and a pretty accurate one at that. And the Dogon people in Mali had a vast wealth of knowledge in astronomy that modern scholars would rather credit their discovery to space aliens or unknown European travelers. But a fun fact, the Dogon culture is steeped in ceremonial traditions centered on several space events. And if you love the video so far, please subscribe and leave a like on this video. Thank you. Moving on, there is the matter of architecture and engineering. You might be thinking ancient Egypt was the only African empire that built magnificent buildings, but Carthage, Great Zimbabwe, the Mali and Songhai Empire, among other African kingdoms, had architecture that was also impressive in their own standards. Now there is a matter of medicine. You would be shocked to find out that many treatments in use today were employed by several ancient African people throughout Africa. Africans were the first people to perform vaccination, autopsy, limb traction, broken bone setting, C-section, among many other medical procedures. 
It's a long list to go through in a single video, but it's quite clear that Africa has contributed significantly and it deserves to be told in the right narrative. One simple way to put it is our heritage was snatched and got replaced by learning everything about slavery and nothing about greatness. Slavery interrupted African civilization, so slavery doesn't define us. And one of the ways to change this narrative is for we as Africans to educate ourselves about our past, African history told by Africans. I'm not against Europeans stating African history, but a person from their Akan tribe telling the history of their Akan people, backed by research, will have way more understanding because he understands their culture. In this modern day and age, our history helps us learn from societies, systems, ideologies, governments, cultures and technologies that came before us. This gives us a detailed picture of where we came from and where we stand today. In other words, it gives us an identity as a people, helping us as Africans realize that our history is more than slavery. So I want to hear your thoughts about how we can better learn and understand the past and possibly the future in the comment section. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.